Super quick video, 95 Toyota Hiace, 4x4, 3.0 diesel. If you get a specific dash light, not oh, that one, but we'll show you. That guy right there, looks like a little gazebo. Yeah, that is a coolant light. So if you notice, I just started the vehicle. And it's not overheating, that just means your coolant is low show you how to fix it you got to do that on the other side okay passenger side accessing radiator um, reservoir and fill cap underneath passenger seat go ahead and lift up the carpet flip the latch up and unhook it and then in order to hold the seat up you see there's a little latch holder there on the b pillar seat gets folded up only on one hand i guess this would have been a good time huh mama and boom latches in holds the seat up looking into there obviously there's my radiator cap you can see the top hoses and all the overflow and then one of the overflow goes right to the reservoir now it's a little hard probably to see on video but if you look down there's going to be the low and high there we go kind of sort of somewhat max just going to pop this top cap off and you can kind of see that it is just bone dry. We just got this one. And we're gonna fill her up there. And then I'm gonna pop the radiator cap off and we will um, fill it up there. As far as the coolant itself goes, Toyota kind of uses a special coolant. This is the Toyota Pink. It just does not have the um, silicate and borite in there. So it doesn't eat away at your seals and things like that. So we're gonna use this. And so I'm not dripping on my carpet and all that. Long little funnel. Hopefully it'll make it a uh, life's easier. Pro tip, make sure your cap is actually facing there. It'll allow for any air bubbles or air pressure to escape so that you don't spill. So I'm going to fill up the uh, reservoir, then we'll get the cap popped off. Okay, so we're all filled up on the reservoir. There's no way you're going to see this on video, but you see my full line there. I am right on the full line as far as my uh, as my liquid. So I am gonna open up the reservoir, well, excuse me, the radiator cap. This has to be done cold, I guess, essentially. If not, it's just gonna shoot out. So I'm just gonna loosen that up there and uh, open her up. So there's a little bit coming out. If you see it, so uh, yeah, it's definitely rusted and muddy. Again, we just got this van and I just assume that nobody ever does maintenance on anything. So I'm gonna try and fill her up here and then uh, we shall be good to go. Hopefully that light goes off and we'll take a look. All right, back on the driver's side. I've got my uh, cap still off, coolant still at the top. And I'm just gonna start it up. You can see all the dash lights are still working. But... Now my coolant light is off, which is good. As it's telling me, hey, you're hella low. Um, yeah, definitely don't drive with the engine open like this, but you can kind of see that I'm gonna kind of hover there until the thermostat opens. Hopefully it'll suck some more into the engine, but for the most part, it's topping off my reservoir. It'll give me a little bit of back feed in there, so should be good to go. I hope this helps. 